Hi ladies. It's Pam Morin, Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and I am working on the November virtual crop sketches, and I'm on number two. Um, I have it printed out here and started to write down the measurements that I'm using. Um, and I decided that with this one, uh, I'm using the Snowbound collection, and I decided with this one, I was going to uh, try to use all, or not all, I should say several, of the Variety Matte Pack um, photo mats in my layout. So I wanted to try, um, my goal is to try and use up the whole collection on these pages that we're doing for the virtual crop. Um, because who doesn't like to use up a whole paper pack? So I've started cutting out what I want my layout to look at like, and as you can see, there is a border across the top and there is a border across the bottom, but it doesn't go all the way to the edge. There is a little bit that does not have a border. Oops, it does not go all the way to the edge. So I made mine 11 inches. Um, so I left an inch on the outside of my paper. On the, on the edge of my paper. So make sure you can see that in the shot here. So like I said, I made this 11 inches. And what I used for this is the Cloud Border Maker cartridge. I've still got it here in my cutting um, tool. And so when I first made the Cloud and it was just one cloud it just looked a little flat to me so I've cut two for each side and then I've adhered them together with repositionable tape so you can see that I've already done that on this page top and bottom and I really like the look that it gives because I could use this for a snow theme since this is snowbound collection or I could use this for a rainy day or you know, anything, really anything to do with the water, because you can see this paper has the raindrops. You know, I've got my trees here and this. And what I'm planning on doing is I'll get a picture that covers up the snowflakes here so that I'm just using this green as my photo mat for my picture. So I've got this side started, and I just wanted to show you the other cloud that I need for this one. So I've already got my paper in here lined up to punch out the second cloud that I need to go along with that one. So just punch this one out. The cloud is pretty versatile because it can be used as snow, clouds, um, you know, lots of different things. It could be bubbles. And it is the type of border maker cartridge that puts the border right on the edge of your paper. So it is it remains um, with your paper on the top of your paper. So I do need to cut this to And I didn't you really use any specific measurements. I just lined it ever, all of them up with this dark black line over here and then made my cut so that they're all the same. And I started, my paper was just 11 inches long because like I said, we just want that border to only be 11 inches, not to come all the way to the edge of the paper according to the sketch. And then I'm going to use some repositionable and I'm just going to line that along the bottom here. Repositionable is so awesome because anything that 
gets here on my mat, I can just rub off. And then I'm going to flip these over. And then I just, I really haven't been using a specific measurement, just kind of lining it up, making sure that it's the same width as the other ones. so that when they come across the page they're the same width. Any repositionable that's on the outside of the paper I can just rub that off as well because it's just little dots. That is the best part about repositionable. Oh I need to my papers next to each other. Just put a little bit of adhesive all along there. And then put my other cloud. Okay, so I'll just take these off real quick. Okay, so these center pieces, the center backgrounds that I have here, those are eight, well, the one on the right is eight and by eight and a half, and then the one on the left is five by eight and a half. Because um, as you can see, this one's wider than the one on the left here the background because you're having uh, two smaller pictures in the middle here and two larger pictures over here and then one larger picture over here so we're getting six pictures on this two page layout so that's awesome okay so then like I said I I would decided I wanted to use my variety mat pack as my um, photo mats. So I'm gonna put my two of them over here, four by six, and then I'm gonna use this large one over here for this larger picture. And then um, that one will go there. And then I'm gonna cut this, oh no, I'm sorry, I already did. This one was together like this, so I cut those that photo mat apart, and I'm going to put those two there. And then this is going to be my title, and I'm going to need a, a photo mat behind this one, I think, because it's it needs something to bring it out, and I'll use a dark blue. So and and like I said, I'm I can use any picture that I want. It may not be a snow day. It may be a rainy day. All I have to do is just cover up. this photo mat here just just get a picture that's going to fit in the that will fit right in here cover up the center but still have some of the green on the outside and then same for this one i you know if i don't want to do any journaling at over here then i can get a picture that fits right in here to cover up those lines so it makes this layout um, look great and it's um, a fast layout. You know, just take your photo, um, photo mats from the variety mat pack and use them as your photo mats.
And this one I kind of wanted to tuck underneath the, kind of tuck it here, just to bring it even and kind of blend it. There we go. Yeah, I just wanted to to tuck this one in so that it wasn't sticking out past the clouds. And I just eyeball it here. I've got some lines here I can use to get it straight. Okay, so now let me cut this out. Um, I was thinking a circle, but I don't know. Let me check out some other fun shapes see see what might work hmm. I think that will work if I use my um, green blade Grab my blades and let's see, green or blue, depending on how small Yeah, the green's gonna cut the the lettering off, so I think I'll actually try the red. This is a reti retired uh, template that I'm using. But it is a fun one. Okay. There we go. Very cute. Okay, so that little guy is going to go right here and be my and be my title. And then I just need to do a background behind it because it is. It just needs a little something behind it. And let's see what template will work. I used that one. So let's see. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to do this fun, swirly one. You just have to make sure that you've got the two little notches down in the groove. And then just kind of go around as best you can. It'll be kind of like a side. Okay. Got a little piece stuck there. I think this guy needs some. 
foam squares. We need to raise it up a little bit, give it some oomph. It's looking a little flat. We'll just use the little ones, trying to use these up. go. We'll do something like that and then we can tuck some things in around this. Make it a uh, a cluster of some fun stuff. Get them all. Okay. All right. So there we go. This one went pretty fast. Now, I do have a small picture over here and they've got a cluster down here in the corner. So we can do something here and down there. We do have our layered stickers and these are mostly snowflakes so I don't want to use those and again snow and talking about winter but these trees and these stars will work so I'm going to grab these Have to kind of lift up the flap and, and take them out. Okay, so maybe something like that. And then these trees. There we go. They get them in there snugly so that they don't fall out, so that's good. could do a set of trees right there. Cute. And then we'll use these over here somewhere once we get the picture or the photo mat that we want over there. Let me just get some of this stuff out of my way here. We've also got stickers we could look at if we wanted to add those to the cluster because there are some flowers I like right there. Mm, I like these and these swirls. That would look really cute over here. Let's give it a whirl. Let's check it out, see how it looks. Just have to punch these center pieces out here. Hope you guys are having a good day. We've got some snow starting today and had a, few, a little bit of dusting this morning. And we've got some coming tomorrow as well. So, oh yes, I really like that. Let's just turn it around and see. Hmm, I think I like it going in the direction. It kind of follows the design here. That kind of worked out really well. All right, we're gonna put that guy right there. Fun. Hmm. And there's another one. Let's see. So there's a second one of those swirlies. So I'm thinking maybe if I put it somewhere over in here, that kind of brings your eye all the way around. So, but what I need to do, I think, is get these pieces in over here and see how that all lays out. So we might use that other swirl. Okay, and I've still got the stars out here that I could use somewhere too. 
I just like to play around and move them around and eventually something catches my eye and I like it or I decide I don't want to use them and and so I don't. Now these are layered so I could cut these apart if I wanted to so that you know maybe I could wrap them around here a little bit better so we'll see. Okay so let me get um, see they have the journaling over here and another small picture. So let me grab my variety map pack. Again, my goal is to use variety map pack for this page, just because I'd like to use them and because, you know, I don't like for them to go to waste. I don't know if the white just blends in too much. I would cut the mountains off, but I could use the lines. Same there. So many options. Okay. So I'm wondering if I know that the sketch has, hmm, well maybe I'll just do something like that. I'll cut this in half and then I could always put this on a mat. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so let's see, is this the color that I want to use? I've got greens and tans. I've got the teal over here. Sometimes it just takes a minute. Okay, since I use this teal over here, I think I'd rather I'd like to use this same thing over here, be consistent. So I'm gonna use that one. And I'll just cut that in half using my sight line so that I get it right on the dot. There we go. Perfect. So I'm gonna put this guy here and then I just need to cut the top of this off. And I can definitely use this somewhere else. You know, that's a nice little embellishment. And I'll just cut this guy use my sight lines. So there, that's a cute little postcard looking thing that I can use on another page. Oh, there we go, and we're going to be doing something like that. There we go. And I do think, since this is on white, we should bring that up a little bit. Let's put something behind it. What do I got? Think about that one a minute. 
So I'm getting these all off the table. Okay, so we can put this guy down. We've got another picture now we can put over here. And let me just look at my sketch again. Something to that effect. And then, you know, I think I'll go ahead and put this one down. And then we can do cluster of trees maybe behind it or next to it okay that looks good uh, here are these guys Something like that, just to bring your eye to the top. And then I had that other swirl that I thought I could use. I could put that down here. And I think these guys need to be on five square. So it's a layered sticker, but I just feel like I need some kind of something popping out over on this side. Need to move it over a little bit. It's going around all of the edge. There we go. Okay, so this is awesome. I used, oh, I gotta put that guy down. I used all photo mats from the Variety Mat Pack from Snowbound for all of the pictures that I will place on here. I will probably cover up anything that has a snowflake if this picture turns out to not be snow. Um, or I could use it for a rainy day fun. Um, and I just need to decide what I want to do with the stars. If I want to try and put them in, include them in the, pa in the page or not. So please... Um, that actually looks cute. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I want to hear from you. I want to see your page when you're done um, with this sketch. If you are getting those done this weekend, the weekend of the virtual crop, be sure to post it to Creative Memories virtual crop page. Um, so that you have a chance to win a prize. I hope you've been able to see this uh, whole page, but here's the left, and here's the right. Fun. This was a fun one. Thank you for uh, tuning in. I hope you have fun making this one too, and happy scrapping.